Welcome to this week in BYU Athletics. I'm your host, James Empey of the football team, and we have a lot of great highlights on today's show. Let's start by taking a look at what happened last week in BYU Athletics. The women's basketball team continued their hot streak at home, hosting number 13, Gonzaga. The Bulldogs got out to a quick start and double-digit lead early in the first half. Freshman Shaley Gonzalez scored a game high of 17 points and added five rebounds. Senior Brenna Chase added 14 points, four assists, and three steals as the Cougars held on to a 70-68 win. With the win, the Cougars sit alone atop of the WCC standings. On Saturday, they hosted Portland. Sophomore Maria Albiero led the team with 16 points and added two rebounds. Paisley Johnson had 15 points, three assists, and three steals as the Cougars ran away with the 79-71 win. The Cougars are on the road for one game this week at San Diego. The men's basketball team traveled to California for a pair of games last week. They opened the week at Pepperdine. TJ Haas went 18 for 22 from the free throw line to score 34 points. He added eight assists and seven rebounds to lead the Cougars to an 87 to 76 win. Yoli Childs added 20 points and five rebounds and Zach Stelius had a team high of 10 rebounds in the win. The men's tennis team hosted rival Utah in another installment of the Deseret First Duel. The Cougars started the match by winning the doubles point and jumping out to a 1-0 lead. In singles play, Jeffrey Sue cruised to a 6-3, 6-3 win at number two. Matteo Vero held on to a 3-6, 6-4, 7-6 win in number three singles. And Sean Hill clinched the victory for the Cougars at number one singles with a 3-6, 7-6, 6-1 victory. And after a successful East-West Shrine game, football linebacker Sione Takitaki has been added to the Senior Bowl roster. The game will take place on Saturday in Mobile, Alabama. Takitaki had three tackles, including one for a loss in the Shrine game. The men's basketball team is at home this week, so come out and support our team at the Marriott Center. On Thursday, they host St. Mary's at 9 p.m. This will be a rematch of the January 5th matchup at Moraga. The Cougars have not lost the conference game this season at home. The game will be broadcast on ESPN2. And the gymnastics team will host Utah State Friday morning at 11 a.m. in the Marriott Center. This is the annual kids meet with students from local elementary schools attending. The match will be broadcast on BYU TV. Thanks for watching this week in BYU Athletics. We'll be back next week with more great highlights and features. Go Cougs!